Hey everybody, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income blog, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create and place a magic button on your site. This is a special type of add to cart button that looks like this one right here, which is apparently supposed to be one of the highest converting type of add to cart buttons you can place on your site. So if you're selling an ebook or a course or anything like that off of any website, I encourage you to at least test this type of add to cart button out. I can't guarantee that it will convert better, but it has converted better for me. And the best thing you can do is test it using something like Google Optimizer or something like that. Test it against your add to cart button that you have now and see which one works better. So the question is, how do we actually create this button easily? I mean, you could have Photoshop and you can build this from scratch or you can you know, hire someone to do it for you, but there's actually a really quick and easy way that I wanna share with you to create this and place it on your website. And I'll show you how to place it on your website if you're using a program like e junkie to sell an ebook for example so let's go right to it okay so your first step is to go to free graphic creator.com and this is actually a really cool website because it's totally free you don't need to opt in or do anything you don't need to pay any sort of money in order to use this and it's actually a wizard to help you create a number of different things like uh, headlines for your sales page a buy now button the belcher button which is the magic button or a guarantee. So whatever you wanna do, you can do here. I'm just gonna show you how you can easily create a magic button or the Belcher button using this wizard here. So I'm gonna click on the Belcher button creator, scroll down and launch the wizard. So again, that's freegraphiccreator.com. All right, and so now what you're looking at is an editor that you can actually go in and create your own buttons uh, with. So I can type in uh, on sale for 34.95, for example, I can go in here and change some of the text down here. Um, get instant access today. I can actually change some of the colors. Uh, I'm gonna change the background to a sticky note, uh, change the edge around the add to cart button to that, uh, add the PayPal to the credit card buttons down here. I can change the text style if I wanted to. I'm actually gonna change the border color down here to something that more matches the uh, border around the add to cart button and then there you go now you have your own button and you can change it to whatever price you want you can change the wording if you want but just having this sort of button uh, and and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to save this onto our desktop and then use it on our website this is going to convert or it should convert so much better than you know just the kind of generic buttons that these programs like eJunkie or one shopping cart give you so Go ahead and uh, you know mess around with this and create however whatever kind of button you'd like. And again, you can you can test a bunch of these together. I mean, every little detail counts. Uh, I like the look of this right here. And if you're done, you can just click on Save as a JPEG here, and then it should save to your desktop. And I can see it uh, saved down here. So I'm going to open this up and show you. And bam. There it is. So we already have a button. And now the question is, how do we get this button on our website? So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do next. The best way to do that is to actually, if you're using WordPress, is to go into your WordPress admin panel. I'm actually gonna go into one right here for my security guard training niche site. And I'm gonna add this button to my media. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and in my panel underneath the left-hand side here, I'm gonna go to media and I'm gonna click on add new. So I'm gonna click on select files and upload that media. And what this does, it's, it's gonna give me a link. I mean, it's gonna give me some options to create a name for it and stuff like that. And I should do that, like add to cart, excuse me, button alternate text, you know, maybe you can make that your keyword if you want to, but I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Uh, the description is just for you. I wouldn't put a caption to it. This is the most important part here. It's the file URL, the file URL. That's what you wanna copy because that's what's gonna be used when you display this image on your site. So I'm actually gonna copy this onto a, uh, a notepad, as you can see there. Now. I'm going to create a new post just to show you kind of how this works. Now, when you're an e-junkie, I'm actually gonna go to e-junkie right now. Under manage products, you'll see a spot to add products. You'll put your product there if you're doing an ebook or, so, or something like that. And at the end of the process, you'll be given a link or some code to place on a website to put an add to cart button. Now, our job is to 
you know, kind of swap their add to cart image with the one that we just saved using the wizard at freegraphiccreator.com. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, if you do uh, already have a product there, you can get the buy now button again by going to get buy now cart buttons for your products here. And I have a sample product here I'm just going to grab a button for. So I'm going to uh, click on get button code and I'm going to copy the add to cart button code and I'm gonna paste it into a new blog post. Now, in the new post I just opened up, and if you're doing this in a page, you can do this on a page too, on your WordPress site, make sure that you paste it in the HTML area, or this HTML tab right here. You don't wanna do it in the visual because you know, you're know you actually adding HTML code. So I'm just gonna paste that code from eJunkie here in HTML, and if I go to visual, it should, it should show us what that add to cart button looks like. As you can see, there it is there. It's pretty tiny, it doesn't grab people's attention. Uh, it's, you know, we want to spice this up a bit and that's what we're doing with our magic button. Now, quite simply, in order to replace this add to cart button with the one we just created, we just have to grab that link that we got when we added our wizard button or our magic button to our media library. So I'm just gonna go back to text editor, copy this link, go back to HTML in our post and just replace the image link that they have with ours. And their image link always, you know, if you're in HTML and you're looking at code, the image link always goes after something that says like IMG SRC, which stands for image on the screen. And you'll see the link within quotations. And we want to place just what's within the quotations. As you can see, it shows the uh, ejunkie at cart.gif. I'm just going to paste over that. And now if I go back to visual, it should show our giant button right there. So that's that's how you do it. And of course, you know, you'd have more than just the button up there. You'd have some some copy and some uh, you know, some really enticing text and uh, some headlines. And actually, if you go back to the wizard and you start over, uh, if you go back to graphic uh, freegraphiccreator.com, there's actually a header or headline creator there too as well, which actually uh, is pretty cool. So it gives you some nice big bold red text uh, that you can place on your sales page as well in the same manner. So that's how you do it. That's how you place an add to cart button that looks like this on your site and how you connect it to your eJunkie account. So enjoy. I hope you do well. Test this out uh, against other buttons that you create or the ones that you already have and see what works best. And I wish you all the best. If you'd like to learn more, head on over to smartpassiveincome.com or pick up my free ebook if you haven't already at ebooksthesmartway.com. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you later.